Is it possible to survive these SCPs in these Roblox SCP role-playing games? And today, I'm going to self-test myself to see if I can make it out alive. Alrighty boys, we're here in the game. Go to the role-play button, go scientist because we want to self-test yourself. Are you kidding me right now? Dude, I literally just joined the game. Also, why is my character bald? There's some, some zombies out here. SCP-008. Please get away from me. Okay, yeah, outbreak is over. Let's start off with this SCP here. Um, SCP-1025. So let's click on this book right there. And apparently I feel tired. I have some sort of like dementia and some other stuff. Okay, cool. So yes, the first attempt of using this SCP, you can definitely survive this SCP. But if you remember from my SCP tier list video, you can actually still get infected from this uh, SCP with the 008 virus. So depending if you're lucky or not, you actually can survive this SCP. And I guess we'll just instantly test on SCP-131 as well, which, uh, this guy is roaming. I love how this guy is just in the corner. I mean, let's already take this out the picture. SCP-131 and SCP-999, we're all going to survive these SCPs. Let's try to go to SCP-131, right? But yeah, this is the SCP right over... Oh my goodness. Oh my, what? How did that guy even get me? I, I wasn't even blinking. Okay, yeah, looks like I couldn't survive to SCP-173, even though I was clearly looking at the man, and I wasn't, uh, I wasn't blinking or anything like that. Yeah, let's head straight to this SCP, SCP-1299. Apparently, you're supposed to, like, turn on one of these faucets, and, uh, um, something will happen. And also, to my knowledge, you actually cannot survive this SCP. You will always get teleported, or, like, uh, dragged into it like so you're gonna get dragged into it like that you're, you're gonna go to like heaven or something outside the map hopefully we won't get banned for doing this thing um yeah I, i'm here now pretty sure the survivability or probability of surviving this thing is like zero percent <laughs> guys i died to the bathtub not to the nuke by the way Alright, so I joined a new server because there was obviously like a nuke that just happened. Let's go to our next SCP, which is the Chair SCP. I actually forgot this guy's name. And I'm pretty sure you can survive this SCP if you do get lucky. Um, I, I don't think I'm lucky. But yes, it's just a normal chair, question mark. Oh, my heart's beating. It's beating. <gasps> okay, so it's just like last time. I literally just like, uh... I literally just hear some random noise and then I just die. Okay. Let's go to SCP-066. Oh god damn. Are you kidding me right now? Bro, another nuke has happened. Oh my goodness. And my eardrums hurt, guys. My eardrums hurt. But okay, let's quickly go to another SCP like right now. I'm not coming to the helipad. I am dying in the facility. Let's instantly go inside this one SCP right here, SCP-079. What do you want? Your mom. Oh my god, this guy speak English? Dude, I want your mom. Bro! Okay, screw you too. SCP-409. If we touch this SCP, right? As you can see, I'm not infected. I don't feel well. I should get a checkup. Yeah, I ain't getting a checkup. I'm gonna get infected. Now let's see over here, SCP-966. Pretty sure this SCP is in here. Surviving this SCP might be kind of easy, he's just like staring at the wall. Just don't trigger him or don't like shoot him, get him mad or anything like that. And let's say I survived this SCP, okay cool. Let's try to go inside this SCP-008 uh, very quickly. All you have to do is, uh, I guess, get infected, right? Which, by the way, I cannot get infected because I'm already infected with the SCP-409 virus. Let's go inside here. We're always gonna get infected like so. There we go, I'm SCP-008, so... Uh, you guys hear me kind of moaning a little bit, but that's okay. All you have to do is go inside here, so this one deconstructor, sit down like so. But this is another SCP that I can easily survive. 12 seconds later. There we go, guys. I'm alive. Let's go to the other SCPs, like right now. SCP-457. Technically, if you're going to test on this SCP, right, it is pretty easy to survive. Because if you're going to test on the SCP, it's more like just chatting with this guy. So if I say, like, hi or something, who are you? If you try to touch this SCP, he will damage you, so you got to be careful about that. 
okay. That's another SCP survived down. Let me just try to test on his SCP. Let me see if I can survive him. I think he actually is friendly at the moment, right? So let me just say hello, doctor. I, I don't think he says anything. Can I just say hello to him? Like, like, dude, can you say something back? Go see a doctor, bro! I'm literally seeing you right now! You are the doctor! Oh my goodness, man. Okay, that's another SCP I survives. SCP-002. We're gonna do this thing now. Go down this long hallway. You literally go inside it. You guys know what I'm saying? Okay, um, wait, who is that? Wait, am I tripping out or something? Uh, on God, I saw a red guy there. Yeah, who is this guy right there? Who is that? Also, that's a 002 entity right there. It's actually trying to chase me. Oh my goodness. There's actually a, a, a table prop right there. This is like the most props I've ever seen in like uh, the SCP-002 realm. Also guys, what is like this red laser beam out here? It might be something. That's a 002 entity right there! Oh. <gasps> Looks like I couldn't survive SCP-002. Help me! Okay, SCP-002, and then we do SCP-007. Oh! But the way you survive this SCP is basically not looking at this guy's eyeballs. For example, in my SCP tier list video, I looked straight into this guy's eyes, and then my fate was sealed. But the way to survive this SCP is not to look at the guy at all. This SCP is very easy to survive, just don't like, piss the guy off or anything like that. Before we go inside SCP-087, let me do the final SCP, which is SCP-096. There's a bunch of guards here, right? Which kind of scared me. 096 evolved. Let's see about that. Wait, what? Wait, now hold up! Guys, I was actually gonna look at the SCP-096's face, right? And then run straight into uh, the SCP-087. But I think this guy's actually friendly with us, dude. Okay, well I guess we survived SCP-096, goddamn. Okay, let's just, uh, I guess go inside SCP-087 now. I think the SCP pops out at around floor 50 or something like that. Later. Okay, that's actually floor 60 right now. We should be uh, seeing this SCP very soon. Oh! Bro, this SCP popped out of nowhere! Dude, that caught me off by surprise. Usually the SCP is just like uh, chilling there and then it scares you. Like that. Like that. Oh, what? Dude, I stare at this guy for a split second. And he instantly just jumps at me. Oh my goodness. That was, uh, that was actually very unfortunate. Okay. Yum. And alrighty, boys. We are here in the game right now. Looks like we're in 35 player server, which is fine because we're just, uh, self-testing ourselves. Which, by the way, I actually never tested on, like, most of these SCPs in the game. I'm probably going to miss the SCP and stuff. And okay, SCP-207. I'm pretty sure... I was about to see, I'm pretty sure only Quas D's can test on this SCP, and not me. And okay, let's switch it up a bit. Let's go inside this SCP this time. Also, there's a lot of chaos happening right now, but you know who cares? I'm pretty sure if you touch this thing, you actually do get, like, something. Wait. Also, is it me, or is my screen fuzzy? Like, like, is it getting, like, all, like, blurred out and everything like that? It looks like I'm blind. Which, by the way, I actually am blind in real life. I need glasses. So you know what? I'm gonna count that as a win. I survived the SCP. Hold up. Okay, well let's actually just do this SCP next. SCP-714. I'm pretty sure once you actually use this ring, you cannot sprint, right? We're gonna, we're gonna click on it and then try to equip it. You cannot sprint or anything like that. You can, you can still jump though. You can easily survive this SCP. You're all good here. I guess we'll try SCP-1139 again. And also, um, wait. Is that SCP-035? Oh, hello there, sir. How's it going? Wait, hold up. Guys, look at it. I survived the SCP-035. I'm gonna count that as a survive. I don't care what anyone says. Let's go inside SCP-330. Take no more than two, please. Let's click on one. Do you have a candy? That's two. Take only two, by the way. Because here's what happens if you take three. Huh? Yeah, um, my arms just fell off. I'm still gonna count that as a survive, just because I wanted to show you guys what would happen if you picked out three. Also, let's go over here to SCP-1499. I'm pretty sure if you click on this SCP, you do get teleported somewhere. Oh shoot. Yeah, um, SCP-1499. Uh, Wait, who is that right there? 
Hey, yo, who is that? I don't think they're killable. Dude, there's so many of them. Wait, is there fall damage in the game? I totally forgot. Oh, there's no fall damage. Dude, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my goodness. Uh, We're back at con one now. And just like that, I think that's another W under my belt. Or another, like, survive under my belt. Which is actually awesome. Okay, these 3D glasses, right? I don't know what this SCP does. Yo, this guy scared me. This guy actually scared me. I'm pretty sure if you touch these guys, something does happen to you. So, uh... Yeah, that happens to you. Later that same evening. SCP-517. Oh god. Eads interact. I get a card. Some things cannot be forgiven. Wait, what does that mean? Thank you for the fortune card, um, grandmother. I love you a lot. I'm trying to test on these SCPs, bro. Do not equip items or they will be removed. Wait, what? Wait, where am I going? What did the fortune card do to me? Bro, what is this? <laughs> bro, I just got pulled into like, like a million pieces or something. What was that? But okay, SCP-120. Let's just hop in. I'm in Con X right now. Is that SCP-2006? Yo, um, sir, can you please open the door? Okay, 2006. You have to come inside here. Dude, 2006, please come in here. Okay, you know what? Screw it. The SCP can just stay in there. He can just stay there. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get out of here. Yo, RRT, let's just get out of here. Don't do it. Don't come out here. Do not come. Are you kidding me right- Yeah, um, guys, uh, 2006 is recontained. This guy's recontained. Let let's just leave. Let's just leave. But yeah, SCP-049 is right here. This SCP is actually- Oh. I would say this SCP is actually really easy to, like, uh, survive or, like, calm down, right? But look, you just use Lavender to lure in this SCP, right? And then he's literally chill with you. Okay, yeah, we survived both those SCPs. I'm just gonna count in my books. And what is this thing here? SCP-2059, what is that? Apparently some sort of sentient biomass. I don't know what that is. Oh god, what even is that? Dude, the eyeball is following you. That's actually creepy. Okay, I'm in some sort of dimension right now. Uh, there's an eyeball right there. I think I got hurt by doing that. So you know what? I was actually trying to run somewhere here. Surely there's nothing that pops out or no jump scare, right? Surely there's no jump scare here. Wait, am I getting slower? Oh god, it has some stuff growing from me. I have some thick legs, you guys know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I think the flesh is gonna consume me or something. Um, I, I, I cannot do anything. I think I'm dead. Oh yeah, I'm a dead man. And at this point, JWJ got tired and decided to quit. 